Sword Art Online Moon Cradle is one of those stories that can't decide what it wants to be. It has numerous solid foundations to work off of like Tiza and Kirito's pain of losing Yu-Gi-Oh, Ronia's feelings for Kirito, Asuna's worries of not being with Kirito for two years as everyone tries to move on in this new world, but the story fails to properly build up on any of them, let alone actually having a conclusion for its main narrative, the Black Empress Conspiracy. Well, Moon Cradle is quite the long side story consisting of volumes 19 and 20, about 90% of it feels like an act one, and then a couple pages haphazardly trying to address the non-addressed plotlines. It's pretty clear that a great story was brewing in here, but it was shoved into the backlines seemingly in favor of echoes of SAO's web novel past, so much so that the book ends with Reki Kawara's afterward apologizing for never addressing the things he specifically wanted to address in Moon Cradle. If you want more information on Underworld, Moon Cradle's one week long story has you covered. If not, you may want to wait whether the Black Emperor's plotline will ever connect to the rebellion on Admina in Unital Ring.